yeah, they're a good side. Um, and they're confident and they're playing well. Um, they're putting us under pressure and they're playing a nice brand of cricket, even in, in our conditions. They've, they've got some, some players who are, have become well suited to that. And they've got, actually got a pretty good record in Chennai, so they, they do adjust pretty well. But uh, they're in form, they've got um, a nice balanced side, so that's, that they're a good challenge. And when you come up against a side like that, it can always be 50-50. And, and so far, um, they've had their way. I'd love to have another go at it and win one out of three because it would be a good one. But um, thus far, yeah, they've, they've certainly outplayed us. Could be fourth time lucky. Could be fourth time lucky. Yeah. You can't, well, I can't put an argument up against when you've been beaten five in a row. It's, we're aware of that, but um, but yeah, so far they've been the team that, that we've we've struggled to beat, absolutely. Yeah, it's a tough one because you, you we're trying to stay positive and, and have good intent, but um, the, the wicket is tricky. Right from ball one, you're having to try and Oh, well, even before that, trying to work out how, how much is it going to turn, is it going to be a, a, a good wicket, do you bat first or second? And So there's, there's always a lot of assessment going on. Um, and today, right from ball one, it was tricky throughout. So you're asking the batters, um, you want them to be positive, you want them to, to play a nice brand of cricket, but um, you need a little bit of luck and a lot of skill. And we're not creating enough luck, and we're probably not skillful with our decision making at, at the moment or in these conditions. So it's been it's been a tough season for our batters and certainly at home and, and today was no different. Well, there's only one really. Um, he had a, played outstanding and uh, we had an opportunity to get rid of him early as well. I thought we had enough. I thought we had enough runs and a precious situation on that surface to, to create chances to win. We just had to be really good in the field um, and we just had to stay, funnily enough, patient and create enough balls that would would create doubt. So that that was um, that, that was unfortunate um, that we couldn't get them early, and, and then there was a nice partnership that they had that just pushed them on enough. But uh, you saw towards the end that there was enough there. Uh, so I was uh, I was I was confident at half time, knowing we'd have to bowl well and catch well, field well. Um, but that's what you wanted in a semi final. We just weren't able to execute well enough. Yeah, the last the last three wickets have been a lot different. So without the Jew, there's a big difference. And if you look back to the history of Chennai, it's about getting runs on the board and then suffocating teams. And uh, there's been no Jew for the last three games. The team batting first has won the game. So that had changed. We noticed a change in weather and, and change in pitch conditions. We got beaten here um, where the pitch got more difficult. So that's 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 why. And looking at that one today, we knew it was going to be difficult throughout. So. Um, it, did, it turned a lot in the first innings, probably more than what we expected, um, but that stayed the case all the way through. Well, that, that's the problem we're finding, we're so far behind in the power plays that we're doing the right things from overs 6 to 20, so the, the run rate I think was 7 and, and 10, so we're getting the right runs there, we're just finding ourselves behind in the power plays, so we're having to do something more. What you run the risk of if we um, over attacked in the middle in those conditions, you can find yourself bowled out for 100. So you've got to have an element of safety and the time you get that, it's around about 14 overs. So from then on, we, we were able to go at 10 and over, which got us, I thought, to a competitive score. But we need to have more balance in the, the first six. So if you're around 40, it would be nice. Um, and then that gets you to a score close to 160, which 150, 160, which are match winning scores. So we're just falling behind um, at, at different stages, but predominantly it's the first six that just holding us back when we lose wickets. So uh, it may be a case we just throw the, the shackles off and have a crack in the next game and, and see if we can just, uh, just hit ourselves into form and confidence. You've just got to back them. We got to that point, so two or three games out from the end of the season, we're making decisions on on players to get us through to the to the end. And um, and reading some of your articles, you, you're critical of too much chopping and changing. Well, we sort of go the other way, trying to, to just back the player enough that their cycle will come. And if it runs out, then so be it. We um, you can go back and, and analyse it and say we should have made a change five games ago, but. If you make a change now in the finals and change your tactics, it just means you haven't had the right discussions leading into this point. And um, we just back players because they're, they're either proven performers um, or doing all the right things. It's just not working. This can be a cruel game, especially when you're playing on a in conditions like this for over half the half the season. So we make um, quite balanced decisions or have quite robust discussion around that. Um, and this year we've just we've backed the players that we've gotten and we'll continue to do so.